Welcome to the Break Orange Podcast. Got a special guest here. We got Michael Stam. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you, George? Doing well. Do you want to tell a bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, uh, my name's Michael. I'm a student at Seton Hall. Um, at Seton Hall, I, I'm a part of our radio station, our TV station, where you know we broadcast games. I've traveled the men's, the women's basketball team before, broadcasting games. Um, you know, working in TV broadcasting or sports broadcasting, however you want to put it. And uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. Who doesn't like working in sports, right? So that's yeah. a kind of where my path is where I would like to go, but uh, still student for now. So that's awesome. All right. So like you say you're a member of the Pirate Sports Network as well as yep. the, the radio side and Pirate TV. How, how's that going? It's fun. It's so, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's fun work, right? Cause you're working in sports. Who doesn't like that? Um, you know, I do a lot of cool things with all our sports here at Seton Hall um, and working either on camera or off camera and uh, editing, whatever they need, really, um, you know, I'll help out with anything. So it's a lot of fun. I, I, I love it. It's awesome. Uh, you have a favorite sport to, to like to call or anything? Basketball is, is a really fun sport to call. I mean, who's not going to say that? But an underrated sport to call, right? Because I think a lot of people are going to say basketball. A lot of people will say football. Give me volleyball. I've done a couple volleyball games. It is fun. Volleyball is an intense game, and uh, it, it it can get it can get fired up, and that's what I love. As I love like a good fired up game, um, where you know you're raising your voice a little, and volleyball gets there. So I'm assuming like all the indoor events are at Prudential Center. Uh, all the men's basketball games are at Prudential Center. Everything else is on campus. Cool, cool. How is it working at Prudential Center? Obviously, it's an NHL teams there. It's mm. uh, you got a you got a use a big crowd over there. Most games. How, how's it over there? It's cool. It's a cool experience. Uh, I remember my first time walking in. Um, like my sophomore year and you know you, you're walking through the media room you go into the press entrance you get the press food you just feel a little different right you feel a little special um and because of you know the opportunities through Seton Hall I've gone to work other events too like the I worked the legacy classic um that was with um Michael B. Jordan Michael B. Jordan's event with HBCU teams I worked the never forget tournament I've worked that two years in a row um, so just other tournaments that don't even include Seton Hall, I've gotten to be a part of as well. So it's it's really cool. It's a fun time. It's awesome. It's, it's great. It's great to hear. Seton Hall has like had many NBA players as of late that played there, like Miles Palmer who was on the net, right. Isaiah Whitehead, also Sanja Masuzivli. Yeah, name wrong, but he's he's on the Bucks on the G League team right now. Huh? Like. Any interaction with the players and like who's like who and who's like your favorite player to watch? So Mamu, I never met Miles Powell. I wasn't in school yet. Um, Whitehead either. Mamu graduated my freshman year, um, so I got to you know I, I saw him around campus a few times. So it's kind of cool start seeing him in the NBA. Just you know that you saw him in the bookstore, and now he's on he's in Milwaukee. But um, everyone else, you know, Jared Roden. He graduated uh, last year. He's in the G League right now. He's he's doing really nice, cool things, good things over there. Uh, any athlete I feel I've ever interacted with has always been, you know, super cool. I, I feel like I've never had a problem, and um, you know, you, you treat them no different than you treat your friend. You know, we, we all go to school here, uh, but it's cool when a year later they're playing in the NBA and you're still in school. But that's all right. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Uh, we had uh, we had another. I had another guest on. His name was Noah Dutzer. He was like a the manager mm. for the Seton Hall basketball team. And he said Miles Powell was his favorite player. I asked him. Asked him at the end of the video. We will give you a quick fire round, like I like I mentioned before, offline. And he says favorite player is Miles Powell. He's a great guy and he puts in the work all the time. He's at the time he's like he should be on the Knicks roster. Yeah. He's killing it overseas now. 
Yeah. Miles Powell is. For sure. Yeah, he was like his he's his favorite player. So it was uh it was good to hear that for sure. Like with people knowing the players and mm. and interacting with them, it's always it's always a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Noah was a good guy too. I met him once or twice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, he's he's doing yeah. cool things. Yeah, yeah, he's the man for sure. Uh also, who's the man who's uh, the practical jokers? I remember when I was watching the show, the scene hall like prank event there. I don't know if you were there as well. If, oh, really? Uh, no, yeah. I did not know that. I did not know this. They're in the band, Q and uh, Joe. Really? Yeah. I got to look that up. A little trivia for you. And there's also Nick Gallus, is a, obviously he's Greek. I'm Greek. He's a. Only Hall of Famer from Scene, scene Hall. We also got Dickie V as well as a big alum mm-hmm. member. Only b- b- basketball player uh, Hall of Famer over there. So, yeah, it's for some trivia for you. I'm going to have to look up that Practical Jokers episode. That sounds funny. It's a great show. Yeah, it's the best. All right, since you mentioned the Practical Jokers, and one of my questions for the quick fire round is, What's your favorite TV show? Is, that, is it Impractical Jokers or what? Uh, so my favorite TV show of all time. You know, I, I feel like I'm going to sound basic, but basic answers is because it, it's a good show. It's The Office. I love The Office. Um, besides The Office, um, you know, my parents always used to watch Seinfeld. So I kind of just got into that, you know, over time, watching them watch reruns over reruns. Um. A show I'm watching right now that everyone's watching, but The Last of Us. I never played the game, but I'm watching that show, and it is that is a good show. It's a really good show. Um, so yeah, Office favorites of all time though. Nice favorite movie. Oh, Sandlot. Right. That's like one of the that's right. one of the first movies I grew up on. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, for sure, best movie of all time for me as well. That one, let's go. See, that, that's, that, there we go. Uh, favorite commercial? Favorite commercial? I don't know if I've ever thought about my favorite commercial. Um, I used to, as a kid, look up on, on YouTube the Be Like Mike commercial. I think it was a Gatorade one. And it had like that Be Like Mike song. I, I, I that I have to go with that one because that's like the only commercial I would look up on purpose. I just thought it was cool. For sure, it was really cool. Uh, favorite ice cream? What would you put on it? Favorite ice cream. Favorite ice cream is cookie dough. What would I put on it? Little whipped cream. I love some whipped cream. Um, top it off with. Not a big sprinkle guy, so I'm not gonna go sprinkles. Um, you know, maybe a little like crush Oreo or something. Like, I, I you don't want to overdo it, right? Because I'm not, I'm not even a big sweets person, so I don't want to overdo the sweetness. Um, but I, I usually get some whipped cream on there. Maybe a cherry, big cherry guy. Since you're from from Jersey, there's a, obviously there's a big sweet place called Carlos Bakery. My favorite shows growing up was Cake Boss. Did you ever go to the Carlos Bakery? So I'm actually from New York, but yes, I did. As a kid, my parents took me to the Carlos Bakery and like I saw, I don't remember if it was the wife or the mom. I saw someone, they were standing back there and I thought that was cool. Is that place even still around? Is, it, is I don't even know. Yes, of course. Oh, okay, good. All right. Uh, obviously we do with the, with the Jersey too, with the Jersey connection. Have you seen Jersey Shore around any of the characters? I've never seen. I never even saw the show. I, I so, but I've not seen any of them. Yeah. All right. Favorite. They sn- don't. They don't make their way to see them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Favorite snack. Ooh, give me cheddar Chex mix. Yes. Favorite. Very cereal. underrated snack. Favorite cereal, uh, give me Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yes. Love that. Haven't yeah. had it in a long time, though. Favorite team growing up? The Giants. Oh, let me change my answer. 
It's a tie between the Yankees and the Giants. Yes. I grew up on baseball, right? But once I got into football, it kind of just took over my life. Um, so Giants and Yankees tied as growing up. I'm I'm a Giants, Yankees, Knicks, Rangers fan now, but I didn't get to the Knicks, Rangers till later, later in my high school life, kind of. So you got the same sports uh, teams going. That's... The right sports teams. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's what that's what it is. The right sports. Teams. Right, favorite athlete of all time. Victor Cruz. All right, so, so yeah. I like that one. That was Victor good. Cruz. Yeah. And we wrap it off with everyone's favorite question. Are you ready? I'm. I'm a little nervous, but yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Whoa! Yeah, give me Zendaya. It's another basic answer, but she's a she's a beautiful woman for sure. <laughs> All right, Michael. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to come on the show. Is there anything you want to wrap off the show with? <sighs> no, I mean George. I had a great time. This was fun. I mean, you had questions right off the bat, and I, I this this is a good test of like some answers I needed to think of. Thanks for having me on, though. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. Uh, it's, uh, where could people find you? Uh, you could find me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is Mike uh, Michael Stam or M Stam twenty actually. Instagram is Michael Stam. Um, LinkedIn. I mean, <laughs> that's where you probably enjoy. So, I mean, anywhere else, I'm, I'm putting out a bunch of stuff that I've done recently. Looking for an internship, so if anybody's anybody's listening, that might be offering. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely, and links in the description. If uh, you want to follow my man Michael over here, and uh, thank you for coming on, and I'll see you in a splash. I'll see you, man.